It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. It is our mission to try to bring you some news that you could use. Today is no exception to that rule. Follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And don't forget, the website is obnradio.com. Just in case you have one of those smart devices, all you have to do is say, hey, play the latest episode of the Mike Prince Show. And just like that, you'll have everything that you need. With all that being established, let us jump right into today's episode. Don't forget this week will be the week leading into two golf tournaments in honor of supporting Prairie View Athletics. April 29th, the Panther Club will be meeting in Pasadena, Texas for their golf tournament, their second annual golf tournament. For more information on that one, you can get in contact with Adam Washington at 832-588-1090. And on May 1st, the 29th annual Panther Backers Golf Tournament be held in Houston, Texas. For more information on that one, get in contact with Dino Robertson at 713-417-2090. Nine zero. If you can't get out and support both of these worthy causes, which in turn will be helping Prairie View Athletics. And speaking of Prairie View Athletics, the purple and gold game took place over the weekend. And a lot of buzz and excitement. And we'll hear more about that coming from Coach Bubba McDowell later on throughout the course of the week. But it appears that Mr. Johnson, the portal transfer from Mississippi Valley, is the real deal. We'll get more breakdown from Coach Boba McDowell, as we mentioned, later on throughout the course of the week. We'll also be hearing from Alonzo Hampton, who is the new football coach for University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. They had their black and gold game this past weekend. We'll get a breakdown from him as well. And for those who may not have had the chance, Coach Clarence McKinney broke down the maroon and gray game for the Texas Southern Tigers over this past weekend's episode of The Zone. You can always go back and check that out through the YouTube channel. And it's the zone dated for April 22nd, 2023. So the spring games locked and loaded. We're still going to get a chance to try to hear from other coaches in the wrap up of their spring football games. Meanwhile, we want to have you circle your calendar for July 25th. The coaches and selected players will be together in Birmingham, Alabama, for the SWAC Media Day. So be sure to have your calendars earmarked for July 25th, and it starts at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So now let us get into the focus of softball and baseball. The Panthers hosted Texas Southern over the weekend, and... The Panthers were able to stay hot, although they only played two of the three games. They extend their conference record to 19 wins and one loss with the doubleheader victory over the Texas Southern Tigers. So the Panthers are riding high in all of Southwestern Athletic Conference softball with that 19 and one conference record. Meanwhile, On the baseball side of things, we'll start over in the East. It was a very critical series that we were looking out for between Jackson State and Alabama A&M. Jackson State was able to take two of three from Alabama A&M over the course of the weekend, which really created some degrees of separation for Jackson State. 
with that number four slot. So if the season were to end right now, Jackson State, hands down, would qualify for the number four seed. Now over to the West, where things are steadily becoming more logjam. The top seed, the Grambling State Tigers, they took on Southern over the weekend. And although Southern got out to the 5-4 victory in game one, Grambling was able to hold off the Jags to win the series two games to one to maintain their lead at the top spot of the Western Division of SWAC Baseball. Meanwhile, the Panthers... Oh, my, yay, yay, yay. Had the Alcorn State Braves. And I was on record for saying that anything other than a sweep from my position would be considered a failure. And why did I say that? Because Panthers dropped one of the three-game series to take a 2-1 win in the series to Alcorn. Not able to get to sweep some softball score. And when I say softball scoring, slow pitch softball scoring, 20 to 10. Uh, Panthers win the nightcap, but they went back and forth. And the one they did lose, it took 10 innings to complete that one. So the Panthers, with the two wins, they now are 12 and 5 in conference play. Still lingering behind Grambling. They'll get a chance to square those things up later on. Meanwhile, the Texas Southern Tigers, they, in my opinion, stumbled as well. They took two out of three against University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff from Houston. So it's still no one getting that total degree of separation right now. Everybody is staying kind of muddled in, in particularly on that western side of the conference. So there you have it. Baseball still trying to wade its way through. Remember, the baseball tournament will be May 24th uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. And there is going to be the Black College Nines uh, selection show. On April 26th, that's this week, for the College Black Nines or the Black Nine College World Series. And they'll have their selection show determining which teams will qualify to represent in the Black College Nines World Series. And we'll try to get you some information on that one as the week continues out. Now, that series will start May 10th through the 13th this year so a lot of baseball softball brewing up and the football camps winding down and the next time we'll see and hear from those guys will be at the big powwow from Birmingham Alabama meanwhile we are going to take our customarily exit stage left for today's show do remind you guys that you can Join in with us daily here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. And subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. My time is far spent and I must go. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining in with us. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.